Hey guys, how's it going? It's the height here, and we are back with a brand new episode of Odd Sparks. And in the last episode, we finished setting up our sword machine. We started making some sparks up here, and for the most part, we have finished tier number three. Now I forget. Oh, we gotta find quartz from somewhere. That's right. Um, what else do we need to do? Grant access to the quest tier four. We have to make more of these guys carry sparks. Uh, carry spark, choppy spark. How do I know what my current quest is for that guy? Here we go. Deliver wood panel. Deliver tree bark. Deliver stone. Carry choppy loamy. 80 crafty sparks. Ooh! 80 crafty sparks. I don't know about all that. That's a lot. Okay, how do I get back there again? 80, 80, 80, 80. Where was that? Right in here? I want to pin this. I got to make sure we have all the stuff. So crafty sparks. We're going to need a new spark area. And guys, I have taken the tree farming thing that we had over here. I moved it over here. We've got all these little pink things over here, and I think this is gonna be where we start to build our sparks. We've got all these trees in here that we're gonna be able to use. And I mean, if we have to, we can expand. There's a lot of little pink areas in here which we can use for crafting. So I'm hoping that that's gonna work out for us. So let's just go check this out. We're mm, going to need some materials. I have some stuff here, okay. So these are the things that we can build our um, spark spark workbenches on. If we had some of those pink crystals. Dang it, I need some of those. Alright, so I went and got some of those. We should be able to build some of this stuff now. Let's see. Workbench, perfect. Now can I turn these? I can. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, how do I want to do this, guys? Something like this. We're going to need some crafty guys in here. Do I even have any left? Yes, I do. Okay. And from there, we're going to want another one of these. A spark workbench. And this one is going to be for Stumpy. Perfect. And then this one is going to be for Crafty. Uh-huh. Okay. That's going to be good. We're going to need a lot of these things, so let's get this started. At the very least, we've got all the wood over here. And I also realized that when we put in the Crafty Sparks in here, it, it's actually faster than when we put in the other spark. Wait, did I put a Lomi Spark in there? I didn't even realize I could do that. Okay, we're putting crafty guys in here. 90 per minute this this works at. So that is super fast. And we're going to want to... I don't know exactly how I'm going to want to set this up. Just yet. Oh boy, how do I want to do this, guys? Well, let's start by looking at the... Uh, rates again because I forget what the rates were and I don't have enough I don't have enough oh, I don't have any planks either I need more crafty sparks is what I need because that is going to help us with production so let me really quickly go grab some stuff let's make some more crafty sparks we're gonna need them now I do want to leave this other base for now because it's basically set up and it's making us some resources that we can use for crafting and other stuff. But at some point I'm probably going to delete it once we get a little bit better of a base set up. For now, it's going to work. Okay, we're going to do that. These guys are going to make us those. Perfect. And I got a few extra ones of these here that we can use. Alright. I'm just trying to... Try and keep this somewhat organized a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do something like that. Get some extra crafty guys. So if I put these guys in here... Zero per minute right now. I want to know... 
5.6 per minute. Okay, 11.3 per minute. Which seems like a really random number, doesn't it? 11.3 per minute. Out of 90? Basically, yeah, it still means I'm going to need four of these things to keep up. So... Oh. So, how do I want to do this? I guess we want to move these. I need to get four of them set up somehow. I'm not sure exactly where yet. Nope, that's not even the thing I wanted. Okay, and can I move... Can I move this with the guys in it? Or how does this work? Oh, perfect! Okay, so we can move that with the guys in it. We'll do something like this. And you guys were telling me in the comments of my last video that you want to see me start using the sorters and having them return once their hands are empty. And I think I have a way to do that. Perhaps I'm just not exactly sure how it's going to work with the space that I have So basically since they always follow the right hand side What I need them to do Ooh, yeah, 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 this is this is gonna work, right? Hang on. Where's my path? I need a path So they're gonna come here. They're gonna grab the wood and then what I want them to do is, oh boy, I don't know about all this. I'm just going to draw something for now and then we can fix it after maybe. So there's something like this and then I, what I need, and this is the part I'm not totally sure about. Where's the filter counter? If placed on a path, this path add on counts the items passing by from one direction i'm not sure what the point of that is do we not have this unlocked oh i don't have the ingredients for it do i okay let's try this one more time okay filter so what i need is if their hands are empty they can't come through here i hope can I do something like this? I don't know if this is working or not. But we'll try it. Okay, so we'll do something like this. If their hands are empty, they can't get through. Uh-oh, autosave. And then that should send them right back to where they came from. Mm. This part here is actually going to be busted, so I need to... Uh, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? Something like that? Because then we can put the path like this. And if they always follow the right hand side, uh, they're not going to want to go this way. I think I also need filters on this side. So this will stop them, maybe, unless they have a wood. And then what I what I want to to do here. This will stop them. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna set these to be wood. So you can only get through if you have a wood. And then. If you don't have a wood, then you're going to come this way. And you're only going to get through if you have a wood? Which you won't have? Oh, that's going to start making a huge mess, isn't it? I need a one way. That's what I need. Ooh, where are those one ways? I know those were a thing. One way. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. How do I delete these? Build. Move. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We're on to something now. One way only. Oh, that is the dream. Okay. So now if I put a guy 
I want a carry spark if I have any left. Carry spark. If I put these guys on here, he should take the wood. I don't, I'm not totally convinced this is going to work. He should put it in there. Oh, and then he just goes back for more. That's actually great. That's actually pretty good. I'm okay with this. We could make this a little bit more tidy, I think. If I move this whole row up one, just because we can. So, oh, I have to put a new path, I think. And then we'll put those one ways on. And now I think I've just gone and messed everything up. Actually, that looks fine. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm okay with this. Now, what I really want to see is what happens once that gets full. So I'm going to just kind of help this thing out a little bit. Once it gets full, I'm hoping the guy's able to go past this thing. I'm not entirely sure how the filters work because I've not used them yet. But I'm hoping that that is going to work out for us. Okay, there we go. It's full. It's full. How does this work? Let's see. You should just run right by there and go into this one. If everything goes well. Did he, did he put them in there? Oh, he did. Okay, perfect. So that's good. We need more crafty sparks. And put these guys in here. We gotta keep this thing going, moving and grooving. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. Perfect. All right, and I may as well just throw this other carrier guy onto there for now. Perfect. The other, uh, to build the carriers, the other thing we're going to need is more carriers. So what does that take? I think, oh, we can't actually build those guys by hand yet. And I also don't have any wood on me right now. Okay. But eventually, we are going to put, I think, the carry bots are going to be coming in down here. But I have to unlock that research yet. And I think that's what we're working on with all of this. So we need Choppy, which I have. We need Lomi, which I have. We need a carry spark, which I can just take from here for now. <laughs> And 80 crafty sparks. So those are going to take a while. That's what this whole thing was for. We're trying to make 80 crafty sparks. So now the next thing we're going to need is this connection here for wood. And I think I want to. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I think I want to do something like that. It should work. They'll go around, they'll follow, they'll drop, and then they'll just keep going. I guess I don't really need this connection here. There. I think that should work. So if they manage to get through all of that, then they'll drop their wood into here. And I think there's also a way I can turn these off. Isn't there? Hmm, maybe not. You know, I've been thinking about this a little bit more. And I may want to be able to turn this part off occasionally. And if I want to do that, I think I'm going to have to rebuild this. I think. And we're going to have to put these back. Going to need some more wood. Hear me out. This is a work in progress. We're... we're what the heck? I didn't mean to put that there. I'm trying to get experimenty here. So we're going to put this down like so. This can actually be deleted now, I think. And... Uh, if he comes up here, which he will, he's going to go that way. Yeah, he's going to start breaking here, but that's fine. I'm just trying to think of the best way to have them bypass all this stuff. So I think what I need 
is this is going to go this way. Uh, is that going to work? We need crossers, maybe. That's the thing we can do, right? The crossing? So we want, if you come this way, you're going to continue. And if you go that way, you're going to continue. I think this will work out. So do something like this. All right. And then the plan here is so that I can turn off if I want to. So I'm going to need to be able to get one of these, which is going to take some sawn timbers. Okay, we're going to take these. And if I put one of these right here, I should be able to turn that off. And I'm going to need another crossing belt right here, I think. Uh, do I want that there? Uh, it's starting to make a little bit of a mess. Okay, I put in a little one way here. That should allow them to continue going through here. And perfect. So now that's going to start doing that. I don't want them to come in here if they don't have wood. So I also need to put a filter on here for wood. And that should basically do it, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. If I, for some reason, want to make more planks, all I got to do is turn it on over here and they'll start making it. But for now, I think I want to focus more on making the sparks. So we're going to do that. And I am going to need to build another one of those. What the heck are they called? A workshop? No, etheric distiller. We need one of these. So I need some more bark or some planks and a carapace. And I guess what I could do is just go break the one from the other base because we're not going to be using it for much longer. So I'll probably do that. That's looking good, though. That other base there is looking juicy. So let's go ahead and take this thing. Can I just move this without breaking it? That would be the best. <laughs> just take it with me. Okay, oh, go on. We'll put this up here. Um, I need it as close as I can get it. To here I think without being like too obnoxiously close maybe something like this I mean that's pretty obnoxiously close Is that good or bad I don't know maybe it doesn't matter okay and then we're gonna come down here that is going to be so that the guys can drop the outputs right into there for us and that should be all we need. I put these in here. They're going to start doing their thing. That's pretty good. Not bad. Now, what I need... I, I'm i not really leaving enough room here for all this stuff, am I? I think... I'm doing this kind of backwards. Because now the byproducts from the planks I'm gonna have to come up and like get into here somehow I'm, I'm not really leaving any room to do that currently which is a problem I think and I don't really see an easier way to do that right at this point I should have maybe put these down in here somewhere and move the wood this way now, I don't know if there's a way to move, like, large areas of things. It doesn't look like it. Oh, that's not the best. I really, really don't want to have to move all this by hand. That would be a huge pain. Hmm. I'm not even sure it's actually all going to fit if I do do that. Well, you know what? Let's take a look. Let me see what happens. I'm going to play around with it a little bit, see if we can figure something out that's a little bit better. While I'm in here, though, I should probably not uh, mess around and get some more room. Get all these trees that I can dig out of the way and see where we end up here. All right, guys, so I've cleaned it up a little bit. It's not perfect, and I couldn't make a bypass this time, unfortunately. Um, there's just not enough room, and I could have pushed all this up one more just to get enough room in here for a bypass. 
but I think for now this is gonna work. I mean, it's gonna get the job done. So we're making the little pink pink shards here. This takes wood and the aether shards, so that is working. I'm taking the output from here, which is the stumpy sparks, and I'm bringing it up over here to get turned into that. Then what do we need is another one of these. Another one of these. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because it is a four to one ratio. So I think putting it closer to this end is better, but I got to leave some room to work. So what if we do something like that ish? Something like that ish and I want to do something similar where they're running around to gather stuff and if they've picked it up then they can then they can jump off the path and if they haven't picked it up then they need to keep looking for more. So what's the best way to do this? Well I think to start with we're gonna need a path that runs down here for sure. And then how do I do this part? Is it just something where we just wrap around? Is it just going to be something super simple like that? Maybe? And then we put filters on here. Ooh, that's not going to work. Unless I go one farther. Oh, and that's still not going to work because this is not in a good spot. Oh, there's just not enough room to work here. Okay, well, we'll do something like that. And I'll put the filter, I suppose, here. And I guess we could put one here, too. Why not? Right? Oh, not one way. I need filter. Can I override? No. Okay, we gotta break those. I need a filter. And I think, does that just mean nothing? If if they walk by there and they're empty, they're going to keep looking. I, I hope that's what that means. So then I need to connect this into here and connect that into there. And that should be all it takes. This guy should run through there. If he's empty, he's going to pick up some stuff. Okay. Now when he gets down to this one, he should pick up here and then not be able to go, not be able to go through there. What's going on here? Um, we need to turn this to there. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. I need one ways. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So he's going to grab from there and then he should just wrap around. That's going to be much better. Perfect. Now this is going to start making us boards eventually. If I can get some crafty sparks in there. And what's the situation here? We don't have any wood in there right now. Crafty sparks. Let's get a couple of these guys going. Where are they? Crafty. Crafty, crafty. Okay, that guy's going to start making those. And then those planks we actually want to bring down over to here. So... Oh, man. We are running out of space. We are running out of space. But you know what we could do? I could come down like this. We can put a crossover. It's not pretty. But it'll leave me room. Because I, I want to leave this spot open. I think. At least for now. And let's see here. So if I put a crossover here and I put a crossover here. Then that should allow these guys to come right down into here. There's going to be a little bit of congestion happening in here, but I think for the most part, that's not the worst. Okay, so that's all going to start working out. I'm going to have to put some of these guys on here. I don't know how many. What's the ratio? I need two to make 3.8 per minute. Like four, like eight minute ish I think those two guys are probably good enough to keep up with that but this one guy here is definitely not enough to keep up with the 44 per minute that that thing needs so let's get these guys going once we start making carry guys a lot of this problem will go away but until then we're gonna have to deal with what we got 
And I think I want to just start putting these carry guys for now into a container. Just so that we can use them. Whoopsie daisy. Just so that we can use them. I don't have anybody equipped right now. Okay. So that is going to start making us some crafty sparks. This is fine and well. I think I have a whole bunch of those guys already made that I can go and steal to help things along a little bit. To help progress everything. And you know what? We could just make a couple more of those machines that craft the crafters and then I could just put items in manually for now. Just to help things move along a little bit quicker because we're going to need a lot of them. So let's go. Let's go see what we can steal from the other base. And I was just thinking about it for what it's worth. You know, until we get more carry guys, I may as well throw a whole pile of these little buggers to help haul wood. I know they're going to probably slow down the carry guy, but I still think they're going to be faster than nothing. We've got a whole pile of these guys, so we may as well use them. Oh, I should add another one way there to save them a little bit of time. Right? Actually, I could probably just move this one. Uh, if I take this one and we put it here. There. Okay. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's kind of tight in there, but I think... It for the most part, they've got it figured out. And I did go and I stole a whole bunch of... Well, first of all, the minions. And second of all... A bunch of these planks. I've got piles and piles of planks here. Which... Maybe I can... Start putting into a storage? It doesn't seem like a bad idea to me. I want one guy on one side and one guy in the other, and then that should mostly work. Where's that crate? I want to go in and out. So this guy's going to start storing me boards. And then that guy's going to take them and shove them in there. So that's going to speed that up a little bit. Okay, so this is going to continue to run for a bit. We are up to 10 crafty sparks only, plus the 7 that we already have. I may as well put these guys in here so we can keep better track of them. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to make another storage. Um, let's see. Because I just want to put all these loamy sparks in there. They're taking up all this room in my inventory, and I don't really need them in there right now. Okay. Uh, we're going to keep... Yeah, we'll keep those. I gotta keep one of these guys. And the rest of this stuff... I may as well put these... Meh, should I put these logs back? I'll put these logs back. Okay, I'll put those back. And everything else should be working. All of this is working. I'll put those in there just because I can. Okay. That is looking pretty good. We need one carry spark, one choppy, one loamy, 80 crafty, a bunch of wooden blades, and some fertilizer. I guess we should go check out the fertilizer situation and see how that's looking. Because if we're not making enough fertilizer, then obviously this is not going to work. So let's go see how much we have. We have 18. We need a lot more. Now, you guys were saying that I may be able to automate some fertilizer with the pen. So we're going to take a look at it and just see. I don't know if that actually works or not, but let's just slap down a pen and let's see what happens here. What is this? How does this work? Spark pen? What do I put in here? What's the point? Open collect. I... I don't think so, guys. I think it's literally just to store extra sparks. Although, I guess I could... 
I guess I could try putting some Lomis in there. It looks like it's got an input, though. What's up with that? What happens if I put someone on here? Nothing. Okay. I bet... I bet what happens is if you get them to carry sparks, they'll just put them in there, maybe? Is this just like an easy way to store sparks and then if you want to if you want to collect them, you just like yoink and then they're yours? Probably. I imagine that's probably what's happening. So you could set up one of these and then have the um, choppy guys getting automatically put in there. And then when you wanted a new army of guys, you just run over and collect them and then you could have your buddies there refill it again for the next time. At least that's what I imagine. So I guess what that means is I need to go and collect a whole bunch of grass. Yikes. And we're also just going to have to wait for those 80 choppy sparks. But 80 crafty sparks. So I might just run around, gather up a whole bunch of fiber. See if we can make some fertilizer. We're going to need a lot of it. And then maybe we can touch back up again in the next episode so i think we're gonna wrap it up here while i run around and harvest bushes i was just harvesting all these things and i realized they're not even bushes but yeah let me know what you think of this system this is a pretty pretty decent setup so far once i can take down these bigger trees and these rocks i think we'll have a little bit more room and i'll be able to do things a little bit better I'm not 100% happy with it, but for now, as like a... Well, it's not a starter base anymore, but... As like our first attempt at pure, true automation and efficiency, I think it's... It's looking okay. We need a little bit more room. We're kind of stuck with where these things are. We gotta just use what we have where we have it, so I can't do much with that. But we might be able to get these trees out of here at some point. And that'll give us a little bit more room for activities. But let me know what you're thinking of the current setup. I'm liking it. I think it's great. 10 out of 10. Look at these guys. If they don't empty their hands, they just keep going around and around forever. Saves so much time. They're not going down there doing all this stuff for no reason. Oh, it's such a good idea. Thank you for that tip. Anyway, guys, we are going to wrap it up right there. I hope you are loving the series. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.